Francis Ugarde recently said he regretted starting his boxing career fighting Tyson Fury and AJ. Well, let's watch this video and let's see what it says. Okay. I just get, yo, how's your feeling right now, obviously, after that, that uh, fight with JG? Sad. Sad? Yeah, that's how I feel. Obviously, uh, boxing and MMA, we know it's two different sports, and uh, you know you, where you, you sit in the MMA world, you're the king of the MMA world right now. Are you going to go back to MMA, or do you enjoy the boxing world right now? I think I can still do both. You know, I'm going to take some time to rest, come back, and uh, make it, because... Uh, I knew that I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing was dangerous to come uh, after the top of the game for my beginning, you know. And then that's that's what happened. What surprised you the most about AJ? Obviously, clearly the power was there. You've got power as well. But what surprised you the most with AJ? I think he get the right timing. That it was about the timing, mostly. What's the difference between him and uh, Tyson Fury? You've shared the ring now with the Gypsy King and Anthony Joshua. What's the main difference between these two fighters? Uh, well, the fight didn't go long enough for me to figure out so many different, unfortunately. If AJ was to fight Tyson Fury in your mind right now, who wins that one? Mm, uh, I don't know how, I don't know how to give it to AJ right now. One final one for me, obviously, the, the fans you had down there, the Cameroon fans, they were singing, they were dancing, and what you've done for the, the continent of Africa, not just Cameroon, is magnificent. You got a word for the people back home? Yeah, thank you for the love, thank you for the support, and uh, sorry for letting them down tonight, you know. I um, I wish things could have played out different tonight. Francis, you've not let anyone down, mate. Thank, thank you very much. Next from Francis Ugani, he said, if you're sad, by losing to Anthony Joshua, but I don't know why he was actually expecting because you don't expect to win somebody that has spent numbers of years in a career. You came all the way from MMA to become a professional boxer because I won't even say he is a professional boxer because according to the interview, he said he can jog with both. But um, I would say congratulations to you because this is more publicity to you. To, to you, more people have come to know um, your strengths and um, I'm sure they've actually know your weaknesses, but it's something you can improve in. But there's one thing I'm going to say, if you want to be a professional boxer, stick to it. If you want to continue in the MMA, continue. You can juggle the two together because it takes numbers of years, it takes numbers of practice. Um, that is my own opinion anyways. And it is always and it will be a favorable thing for you because if you look at the records, the record says you have been able to make um, $3.5 million for seven years in seven matches in the MMA. But in just two matches with um, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, you're able to make $13 million. That's a good sum of amount to your bank account. So I'm going to say stick to one, either the MMA or the professional boxing career. But let me know in the comment section, do you think um, Francis Ngannou can be able to juggle the two? I'm going to leave it in the comments and I'm going to hear what you guys have to say.